A one-year-old died after being exposed to fentanyl. Three other children were hospitalized. Authorities now say narcotics were hidden inside a trap floor at the daycare. They found eight to 10 kilograms of drugs wrapped up in the floorboards. The woman who owned and operated the daycare and a second suspect have now been indicted on various charges, including murder. Now, investigators are still searching for a third suspect believed to be the woman's husband. He was seen on surveillance video leaving the center last week with plastic bags that appeared to contain large square items. Authorities believe that he was carrying out fentanyl. CNN Chief Law Enforcement and Intelligence Analyst John Miller is here with us now. Let's talk about what is a manhunt for someone the authorities, I think, believe was key in this operation. They do believe that. I mean, the fact that he is the husband of the woman running the daycare center really raises this question. Was the daycare center just a daycare center or was it a front for a much more profitable drug organization? And the answer is appearing more to be the latter, meaning having those kids there. They were licensed by the city and the state to care for up to eight kids. And that means a lot of coming and going, cars pulling up, parents going in, dropping off, picking up which actually gave a veneer of a busy location on a quiet residential street that allowed for the other business to continue, all those ins and outs uh, looking normal. People have now been arrested and charged in connection to a case that has shocked our city. In this exclusive video, you can see undercover federal law enforcement agents making the arrest of 38-year-old Renny the Rooster Paredes over the weekend outside of a Bronx nightclub. Also new this morning, new images show the daycare owner's husband running out of a back alley with suspected bags of evidence. Sources say police are also looking for him. Paradis' arrest is the third in connection to an alleged fentanyl drug ring at a Bronx daycare where four small children overdosed on fentanyl. One of the babies, Nicholas Feliz Domenici, has died. The daycare owner and her husband's cousin have also been arrested and charged in a federal indictment. Officials are not looking to prevent similar tragedies. Such a heinous criminal act that led to Nicholas's death, making sure every single person that has access to an apartment where there's a family daycare, every single person needs to have a background check. Every single room, every single cupboard should be a part of what is searched. Paredes is now charged with conspiracy to distribute narcotics resulting in death. And once again, the husband of the daycare owner remains on the loose. Reporting from the newsroom. Third person is under arrest in connection with the fentanyl related death of a one year old at a Bronx daycare. But tonight, the search continues for the fugitive husband of the daycare's owner, and police sources say they believe he may be overseas. CBS 2's Ali Bauman reports from Kingsbridge Heights in the Bronx. A rain soaked memorial drips outside the shuttered Bronx daycare where one year old Nicholas Dominici died and three other babies were hospitalized earlier this month after they were exposed to fentanyl. The daycare's owner, Gray Mendez, and her husband's cousin, Carlisto Acevedo Brito, have already been arrested. And Monday, federal investigators charged 38 year old Renny Antonio Para Paredes, known as El Gallo, in connection with the baby's death. Prosecutors allege the three suspects conspired to distribute fentanyl and say they have since found large quantities of narcotics under floorboards, on play mats, and in the closet of the daycare. And they were inspected a week before this happened. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. I don't know how this happened. I don't know why it does happen. Investigators track Paredes down through text messages with the other suspects. After searching his apartment near the daycare, the DEA says they found scales, strainers, and other tools used to distribute narcotics, two clear Ziploc bags filled with a grayish powder, as well as glassine envelopes with the same Red Dawn stamp that was found in the daycare. The case is far from over. Sources tell us police are still searching for the daycare owner's husband and are looking at the possibility that he fled to his native Dominican Republic. When the baby started showing overdose symptoms, prosecutors claim Mendez called her husband before calling 911. Minutes later, surveillance cameras captured him carrying heavy shopping bags out the back alley and leaving through overgrown grass. He hasn't been seen since. And um, you're not going to find him around here, let me tell you. Paredes faces 20 years to life in prison if found guilty. In the Kingsbridge Heights section of the Bronx, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News.